Unit 1 Review Question 1. Write the given whole number in the place value chart, expanded form, or word form. So here's the given whole number. This is in place value form, the regular way we write a number. And here's the place value chart. Notice the 4 is in the hundreds place. There's a 7 in the tens place. And the digit 8 is in the one pl ones place. To write this in expanded form, we're going to write what each digit represents in terms of its place value. So four hundreds is four hundred, plus seven tens is seventy, plus eight ones is eight. So the expanded form, if we combine these values, it's equivalent to the place value form. And finally, our word name. You write the digit in the hundreds place, which is 4, follow it by the word 100, and then you write the word or words that represent the tens and one, ones place combined. So we don't say 7 tens like we said 400, we say 70, and when there's a value in the ones place besides 0, we're going to hyphenate that and write 70. Eight. Question 2. Identify the place value for a digit in a whole number and write what it represents as a word and a number. So here's our number. I'm noticing there's three groups here. So in my place value chart, I'm going to need the three groups to the right, starting with millions. Since there's two digits, it would be the two rightmost digits, 23 million. 456,789. So we're asked to determine the place value for the digit 5 and write what it represents as a word and a number. So let's locate the digit 5. Notice 5 is in the 10 thousands place. So its place value is 10 thousands place. Next, we want to write what it represents as a word and a number. I'm going to start with the number first. So you think of the digit itself followed by all zeros. So this is 5 in the ten thousands place, which is 50,000 or 50 comma 000. So this one digit alone is representing the quantity 50,000. And as a word, we write that as the word 50 followed by the grouping, which is 1,000. Next, we're asked to determine the digit in the hundred thousands place and write, write what it represents as a word and a number. So the hundred thousands place, well, we're going to go to the thousands grouping, and there's the hundred thousands grouping, and we can see the digit is 4. So the digit is 4. The 4 represents, well, 4 in the hundred thousands is a 4 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Notice I put in the comma. So the digit 4 is representing 400,000. And to write that as a word, we write 400. So we write the word name for this and then follow it by the grouping, thousand. Problem three, write the place value form for the word name below. So we're given 402 million. So this represents our three digits and this represents our grouping value. So here's our grouping value of millions, we want 402 in the millions. So that's 400, 400 millions, 0, 10 millions, and 2, 1 millions. Okay. And the remaining digits are placeholders. If we didn't put them in, we just have 402. But these zeros make it so we have the 402 in the millions grouping. So in place value form, it's 402 comma 000 comma 000. 
Question 4. Round 2,983,467 to the place values given. So let's start by putting this in the chart. I notice there's three grouping values, so this will be in the third from the right, which is millions, and we just have the number two, so that goes in the one million spot. And now I'm going to fill them in from going to the right, 983, 4, 6, 7. Now first we want to round to the nearest hundred. Okay. Well, 100 means the ones place 100, so here's the hundreds place. So I want to round to the nearest 100. So what I'm going to do is you look at the digit to the right of the hundreds place, which is the tens place. If this is 5 or larger, you're going to round up, which means adding 1 to the digit you're rounding to. If it was less than 5, we would keep this digit the same. Okay. So we keep all the numbers to the left of the one we're rounding, so 2, 9, 8, 3. They all stay the same and they're all in included when we round. The 4, we're going to add 1 because 6 is greater than 5. And then all of the digits to the right are changed to 0. So now let's make sure we put in our commas. 2,983,500 is this number rounded to the nearest 100. Now let's do the nearest 10,000. So here's our thousands grouping and here's our 10,000s grouping. Okay. Now we want to work with the original number, so I'm going to cross this one off. You don't want to round this one. It could turn out differently, although it might turn out the same. Okay. And here is our digit in the 10,000s place. Now the digit to the right is 3. And that means we're not going to round up. So we're not going to add a 1 to the 8 here, like we did with the 4. We're just going to keep it. So we keep all the digits to the left. So keep the 2, keep the 9, keep the 8. And everything to the right of the 8 is going to change to a 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And that's where our commas would go. So to the nearest 10,000, we have 2,980,000. And now our last problem, we want to round to the nearest 100,000. Well, let's locate the 100,000's place. Let's cross this one out first. Now, here's the 1,000's place, and now this is the 100,000's place. So we have the digit 9. I cleaned up some of the previous markings so we could see this a little bit better. Okay, so we have a 9 in the hundred thousands place, so we look at the digit to the right, and notice 8 is bigger than 5, so that means we're going to round up. Okay, let's do this in two steps so we can see what happens. So first, remember, we keep everything to the left, which is just a 2. Now, if we add 1 to 9, we're going to get 10, and that's not a single digit, but we're just going to write that for a second. And everything to the right turns into the 0, to a 0. Now, if we have 10 hundred thousands, that's actually equal to a million. So this is kind of like carrying an addition. So we're going to carry this 1 over to the millions place. So this is going to change to a 3, and then we leave the 0 here. So rounded to the nearest hundred thousand is actually 3 million. And it looks like it's rounded to the nearest million, which it actually is as well. But if you think about not rounding to the nearest 100,000, it's between 2,900,000 and 3 million, and it's closer to 3 million.